Aloha everybody, Sean at Aloha Pigeons and today we're going to be testing the Sky Leader GPS rings and we have five rings to test today so we brought five birds and we're releasing them from the southeast point of Oahu they're flying to our loft which is about 22 miles from our release point today and in the background you can see Molokai so that's the direction the birds come from during the race so this is going to be a good reference point to see what route they take back to our loft made it home and we're going to be checking on the five birds we released this morning with the GPS rings. On a side note, you see all this lumber? That's for a new pigeon project. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for new videos about that project coming shortly. Okay, so we have the five birds released this morning. In this loft there should be nine homing pigeons. Let's see, we got one, two, three, two up here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all of the pigeons that had bands on their legs with the GPS came home. That's perfect. And I did release them all on their own from that spot. So we're going to get to see five different routes that each pigeon took home, I mean, took to get home. And they made that decision on their own. They weren't all a flock flying together. So that should be interesting. Okay, so I have all five rings from the birds that we, um, took on the road today so I also have the charging dock hooked up and you can see it's blinking yellow and green when I put a battery in here it'll turn red and then when it's charged completely it'll turn green and then we also have the dock that's um, used to download the data that's hooked up as well so now I'm going to open the software from Sky Leader and you'll open Sky Leader 2 we're gonna make a new account with Sky Leader so we'll go to register and click I understand and agree with all terms. Next. And then here you're going to select your region. I'll enter my name, Sean, an email address, a password, uh, a second time to verify it as well, and then a second email address as a backup. I'll, I'll click send verification code which they'll send the verification code to my primary email address and then I have two minutes to enter it in this line to verify this account and then you'll press OK. So once you do that it'll say your registration is complete. Um, select OK. Your password. OK and from there it sends you to the home page. So you'll have several options. You can read the ring, uh, set up the ring, so when you do that, you have several uh, selections on how often it's going to read or record a position of that bird. And when you're setting up your rings before you put it on the bird for training, if you want the recorded positions to start at a certain time, say you know when you're going to um, release your birds or when the race starts, you can put that time in here. And then the reported positions from that band won't start until that time that you've set. So all the batteries are charged now and you can see that because all the lights are green. So let's take out one of the batteries, we'll put it in the first ring just like that and we'll put it in our dock. Download it. There you go. You see the blue light flashing? Hopefully that means we're good. And let's read the ring. Reading complete. Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, let's label this one. We're going to label it down here in the bottom left-hand corner, 73. Let's go to training records, this top tab on the right. And we'll search what we did today. And it should have a few. Perfect. So these were tests that I had earlier today when they were just flying around the loft. So what we're going to do is we'll check mark this one. You can change the color of the route if you have more than one that you want to compare. So we'll leave this first one blue. So we selected that one and let's draw it now on our map. And there we go. That's awesome. Wow, and that's surprising. Okay, let's zoom in. Wow, I would have never thought they went that way. 
Okay, so you can see the release point right here. That's what this white and red hash mark is. That's where we released them from. So they flew this way, and by the time they get over here, they're out of my sight already. And I thought they would have just continued across here. But it looks like they went up north towards Cocoa Head for some reason. It doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, so here's all the points that you can click on. Let's see, if we click on it, we get the time that report was made, the speed, and what is this, meters per minute maybe, direction, and the height in meters, so 290 meters. So let's close that. You can see they went up here, and then you can also change that to a satellite view as well. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let's see what route they took. And this guy, well, at least this first pigeon, he went all the way up here. He did change his course from being along the ridge line. Oh, this is awesome. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, so he's not following the freeway. That's a good thing. He comes over here, I guess just above Waikiki, but then he crosses water to get to Sand Island. This is one of their first training points, Sand Island, because I want them to be on this route. I don't want them to stay on the freeway and come up here. It wastes a lot of time. Oh boy, the people that work at the airport are not going to like this though. So he, they fly over Sand Island and then he flew directly over the tower at the Honolulu Airport, Honolulu International Airport. Oh boy, maybe I shouldn't be uh, posting this. <laughs> okay, so, okay. <laughs> Let's see. The tower for the airport is right here, right where the cursor is. And then, oh my goodness, that is so funny. This is good in terms of um, time, though, taking the fastest route to back to the loft. Because look at this. This is the entrance to Pearl Harbor. And he crossed right over that. It's not even like he tried to go over the shortest distance. I mean, um, the shortest... Um, with for water he just went right over the entrance and then straight back to our house to his loft okay i just downloaded the second ring and i gotta say this is very interesting this tab right here this will get a full screen so let's do full screen so it's a little easier to see so this is what i thought they did so i release it over here on the right the blue guy he wanted to go up here over cocoa head and look what he did. He used, this is land right here. And this is all marina. This is ocean, um, just inland. So he wanted to cross over this bridge. And then he didn't want to go over this marina area still. And so he went up this way and then went along the ridge line. Whereas the second guy, he did exactly what I rather them do. So he went straight across and then he took this path. That's still over land. And then he was following the freeway for a little while and then he decided to go a little bit higher so I don't know they like their ridges for some reason now, this guy doesn't want to go over the water by Sand Island okay so he went over the north side of the airport I'm sure the airport workers would be happy seeing that okay and here is the third guy once he got going he followed the path pretty close to the second bird the purple bird so again the first bird was blue bird uh, second bird was the purple bird and the third bird we're looking at now is the green one. So he actually met up with uh, that first bird, or at least the location. And they, they were at different times. But for whatever reason, they like going up there for some reason. Let's see what he did when he got into town. Followed the path, of, the same path of that second bird. Right past Al Moana. Ooh. Again. Like the second bird, the purple one, he didn't want to cross this water to Sand Island. Only the first bird did that so far. Wow, look how close he, closely um, he followed the path of that other bird along the north side of the airport. Look how similar... They must have landmarks over here or something because these two birds, they weren't flying together, but they went over the same path. That's interesting. So this is the fourth bird. It looks like uh, 
this fourth bird teamed up with, what was that, the third bird? Well, I thought that bird was gone, but I guess not. So looks like they teamed up. And this is why I released them separately, because I didn't want this. You see how this fourth bird is the yellow, yellow track, and the third bird was the green track. You see how the yellow and the green are directly over each other? That, um, that's what I wanted to avoid. Unfortunately, I guess that third bird stuck around and waited for that fourth bird. Look at them. They did the exact same thing, same circles. So I'm sure they just did the whole route together. Let's see. That's kind of a shame. I wanted five different routes. but Okay, here's bird number five. Let's see what he did. You can see that it followed the path of the last two birds pretty closely. Look at these birds. All but one of them, all but the second bird, the purple bird, went up to this uh, ridge line up here, so close to each other. And they, they kind of all, what? They all wasted time up here, it looks like. <laughs> I don't know why. That's so strange. So this guy also liked the ridge line. OK. And then he did drop down and follow the previous two birds pretty closely. It's only the first bird that was much higher. So let's see what he did when he got over town. And all but the first bird followed the same route. They have these waypoints over here, I guess. Wow, look how closely these birds follow the route. And then this bird as well. He went just over the north side of the airport. So. It's only the first bird that wants to get hit by airplanes, and um, and they cross cross the same point. So yeah, obviously they have their waypoints that they like to hit, and then back to the loft. So it's really only the first bird that was really kind of doing its own thing. But I am just really happy that I don't see the birds going around Pearl Harbor. I was worried that they didn't even want to fly over water over here and they would follow this path around the north side of Pearl Harbor and then down, which would, you know, they're backtracking. They'd be flying, it would be taking them much longer. So that's good news. Um, I think this unit is unbelievable. You can see which birds take the best routes and use those to train the birds next year. You know, I could potentially pick one of these birds or a few of these birds to train the next year's birds. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. Aloha.